What is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking John 64, and today I'll be teaching you guys how to set up the VMP SMG. Now, this VMP is going to be perfect for you guys from short range to medium range combat. When it comes down to long range, you're going to be able to miss all the shots, so I suggest to keep it short. Keep it in close quarter combat. Do not fight in open fields. Sometimes, like it's bipolar as hell when it comes down to long range. Sometimes it will cooperate with you from long range, but you cannot, you know, trust it most of the time keep it from medium range to short range. So uh, a little bit of history about the VMP. The VMP used to be OP back in the beta. And then after the first few weeks of Black Ops 3, you know, the VMP got nerfed and um, it was super weak. Like in the month of December, this weapon had too much recoil, the damage was way, was way too low, and it just couldn't keep up with the other SMGs that I was using. And then um, recently in the latest patches, I know they did not include this weapon like, like a buff or a nerf, but um, you know, it has been acting a lot better. It's, it like feels like it has more damage, and I've been doing pretty much well with this weapon. I increased my KD by 0.02, so now I went from a, I mean, from a 1.90 to a 1.92 so uh, it's, I'm slowly increasing my KD but I'm doing it at a good pace uh, and it's pretty much going up like every two weeks or so with the VMP so um, let's move on to the attachments so you guys can know uh, why do I have some certain attachments for this weapon and by the way if you guys have not seen my, my latest gameplay with the VMP I said just go into my history and just go um, and just click my main channel you should be able to see the video right there the one where I went 77 kills and 9 deaths pretty much of a great gameplay now moving on to the first attachment which will be the silencer the silencer is for you guys to keep your stealth so you guys won't be detected and without it it's kind of a little bit inaccurate I don't know why that happens but the weapon feels very inaccurate and um, installing the silencer I feel like there's more control the weapon does not shoot out all over the goddamn place in the, in the screen so I don't know it kind of acts like a foregrip so now moving on to the next attachment which will be the uh, gonna move it over here the grip now the grip attachment will allow you to keep your accuracy you know pretty much in a straight line if you don't have the grip it's gonna act very very terrible on you it will not even work from short range it will go all over the place and most of the bullets will not even hit the enemy's body so in order for you like to create more of a damage towards the enemy you gotta keep that accuracy man so adding the grip is gonna increase your power from short range it's gonna make every single bullet count in towards the enemy and you're gonna waste less bullets and um, also from medium range you're gonna be able to combat with this weapon so add the grip in order for you to fight from short range to medium range and have more accuracy and have more chances in winning in one-on-one -on -one situations now moving on to the next attachment which will be the stock now the stock will allow you to actually move around while aiming it's gonna allow you to move like super fast now this is an attachment that you pretty much need from close quarters because most of the enemies nowadays in black ops 3 they're carrying shotguns they're quick scoping if you want to avoid every single one of those shots you gotta add the stock without the stock you're pretty much just a sitting duck every time you shoot and that's bad because most of the time you're gonna be in close quarter combats and you want to juke out the enemy you want to make them miss every single one of the bullets the stock attachment is gonna help you guys out for that with those situations it's gonna make you win every single battle from close range most of the time so add the stock attachment and make sure to watch my previous video with my gameplay with the VMP where I went 77 and 9 because that one is pretty much showing you how I use the stock attachment is helping me out from short range most of the time now moving on to the perks now there's this one perk that's very important which is the fast hands now now this is a 50 50 it, you can either have fast hands or quick draw quick draws an attachment that allows you to aim quicker and the reason why I have fast hands is because it gives you two things instead of one now the quick draw gives you quick aiming it allows you to aim super quick while fast hands allows you to aim super quick and also swap weapons faster now since you don't have a backup gun most of the time I ended up picking up one from the battlefield if I want to switch over to the other one you know it's gonna allow me to switch pretty much quick from long range and then I'll just drop back to my VMP that's why I have this fast hands instead of the quick draw sometimes I'll install the quick draw just, just to test it out but I feel like more secure with the fast hands because it gives me more um, more than one ability so that's why I have fast hands and uh, if you guys want to try it out like that you know fast hands for quick draw it's, it's up to you but my you know pretty much I prefer fast hands moving on to the next perk I do have ghosts but a lot of people do hate this one 
<laughs> I don't really care because I don't care is about getting the kills, racing on my KD, and winning the game. So I'm gonna sneak my ass and try to flank the enemy as fast as I can. That's what that's what a uh, ghost can allow me to do. Next up, I got scavenger. Now this one's a very important perk since you don't have a backup gun. You can need scavenger in order for you to resupply every single one of those bullets that you drop on the with the VMP. And then the next one is Blast Suppressor, pretty much giving me more stealth, allowing me to move the map around the map with no problem. So that is it guys, that is the best class setup for the VMP. If you guys have no idea how I do with the VMP, make sure to go back into my videos, watch the one that I went 77 and 9, and you should be able to see how I did with the VMP. That's going to show you more proof that this weapon, this best class setup, is going to help you guys out from close range combat. So that is it guys, subscribe for more, you guys want to see more Black Ops 3.